Today I'm driving down to South Florida. I guess it's South Florida. It's like Tampa, Sarasota area. Um, doing some hunting. I'm taking the Jeep on this trip. Now, Jeep's on 37 inch mud tires and I just sprung an oil leak and I don't know where it's coming from. I think it, I think it might be just a valve, valve gasket, but I looked, checked the oil the other day and it was bone dry. So I would take the truck, but the truck, the tires are falling apart as you drive down the road with it. So I was like, well, maybe I'll just, I'll take the Jeep down and uh, risk it for the biscuit. Anyways, I'm going down to meet Common Man Outdoors and we're gonna hunt, we're gonna film, we're gonna do all that fun stuff. We just got out to uh, Razor Ranch. I got the old 50-year-old Remington Model 700. Like I said, I haven't shot this gun since 2009 when I bagged a doe in Georgia. My uncle's had it and he said he hasn't shot it. So it should be sighted. But I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and sight this in before we get on some hogs. Seems like it's accurate. Do another one. Cool. I think we are ready to rock and roll and get on some of this boar action. Just got up to the blind. Um, this is where I'm gonna be hunting at. And uh, getting everything ready, sighted in the rifle, which not having shot it since like 2009, I'm fairly impressed that it, uh, that it was still accurate. So it's gonna be a good time. Um, we're gonna wait on some of these hogs. I'm kind of in a, uh, a nice area it's a little wet and uh, all that good stuff but I'm gonna see what starts moving around Jordan just drove by and uh, dropped off some corn for the hogs not for me and uh, so the sun's starting to go down just a little bit it's nice it's quiet there's not a lot of wind. There's some breeze here and there, but it's nothing crazy. And I think it's just right for some hogs to start moving. Probably the next, I don't know, five or 10 minutes, they'll really start moving around. when it's real still <laughs> and there's no movement anymore and there's no hogs to be found sometimes I wonder if I started doing the, the pig calls like they do in the Iowa State Fair how they have the pig call contest I wonder if, if any pigs would come that way so a deer just walked Right into my, uh, right into my line of sight. Came from the right, which is where I was hearing a little bit of a commotion. I thought it may have been some hogs. But it's just a deer eating all the, eating all the food that Jordan laid out for the hogs. Hey, dear, can you please? 
stop eating all the food that we left out from the box. That would be great if you could just stop eating all the food that we left out from the box. Oh no, you're not going to listen to me. You just want to ignore me, okay? I see how it is. I'll see you next deer season. I'm at a tree stand called Shaky. Um, and it's an old wooden tree stand. And it's called Shaky for a reason. Um, I'm going to give you one guess of why they call this tree stand Shaky. It's an old extension ladder up a tree secured with rope and um, and then it's just like old two by six kind of pieced together the bird just stopped squawking at me I think it left the bird is why the hogs haven't been moving close to me um, yeah I'm just gonna blame it on the bird I just heard a big squeal about 50, maybe 60 yards away. But I think they're gonna come from this way. Um, thankfully, I've got a crow calling the hogs to me. Um, it's, it's just sitting on a limb somewhere, calling. And I believe he's here to help me find these hogs. All right, so I didn't get to shoot anything yet. Uh, nothing came around me. I heard some pigs squealing. Um, I heard Ryan shoot one, and we tracked it. We couldn't find it, and it got lost in the, the thick saw palmettos. But uh, there's hopes from out running to it tomorrow. And this AC is loud. But, uh, yep, yeah. anyways. Tomorrow morning, we're going to do it all over again. I think I'm going to change my approach and do some stalking and stalk these hogs and get me a shot off on something. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, well, good morning, sunshine. It's morning time, and uh, this morning's the morning. I'm going to get this pig that's been so eloquently eluding me all night last night. It's gonna happen. First, we're gonna get some coffee up at the lodge. Um, Scruffy's coffee. If you don't know what Scruffy's Coffee is, check them out. They, they help fight against psychopath pedophiles. Um, they help fight against child sex abuse. All that fun stuff to get those wackos off of the street. But that's the coffee I drink, Scruffy's Coffee. Uh, it's good to know that when I'm drinking a cup of coffee in the morning that the money that I spent on a bag of coffee is going to a good cause to help fight for kids because kids can't fight for themselves. So check Scruffy's out. Yeah, we're going to the lodge. We're going to get this hog. Like I said, we are going to be stalking this meat hog. We just got done with the lodge. We're going to walk through some of these palmettos and all that fun stuff. Should be a good time on the way here. We saw a bunch of movement and uh, I'm ready, I'm ready. Now, some of you don't know that I'm here with Common Man Outdoors, Jordan Spencer. He's actually doing the camera for me. He's on this other side. So I wanna introduce you real quick to him. What's up boys and girls? My name's Jordan Spencer with Common Man Outdoors. Welcome to this wonderful place here that we call Razor Ranch. This is our our chocolate factory, the Willy Wonk chocolate factory for us. We come out here with that golden ticket and hunt hogs. 
Typically we love to do it with uh, the old stick and string, but Josh is out here with this old boom stick, which is gonna be fun. Get around, sneak around. We're gonna pretty much stick close to these palmettos is what we do here. And we go and check these open fields, open pockets, feeders, wherever we think pigs are. See if we can't get them one walking and stalking from the ground. But thank you guys for checking this out here with Josh. Make sure you check our channel out with Comment Outdoors. You can see a lot of him on there as well. Let me get back this camera. This is your show. Come on, Josh, let's go hunt a hog. Let's get it. Good. There were some, there were some smaller pigs, um, but let you in know a little secret. We're gonna go shark fishing, so we may use some of this meat, but we're gonna try and find a bigger hog. But we wanted to make sure that we got something that we could use as bait. We're gonna go up there and uh, it's, it just stopped twitching, so we're gonna get up there and recover this thing. That's like the perfect size of what we need it for too. <laughs> the first hog hunt of this year. First of many. First of many. So we're gonna be doing a lot more of this stuff. So y'all stay tuned. Don't forget to check out Common Man Outdoors. Uh, the shark fishing episode's gonna be, y'all gonna wanna go subscribe for that. It's gonna be a blast. So uh, yeah, we'll see y'all in the next one.